Mr. Ryan? Ray Pike, Fabricator. Here with another video. Um, I don't think I've ever done one of these completely where I show you the whole thing. Um, I usually do the work and then I brag about it. Tell you how you couldn't do anything like it. I'm actually going to go through a little bit here because I, I think I've been shortchanging you to be honest. Uh, you come up with ideas on a regular basis and uh, they always turn out to be stupid because you don't really think them through. You don't realize, hey, just because it's a great idea doesn't mean it'll work. Doesn't mean anyone will care if it works. Doesn't mean it will add any value or be worth it for any good reason. So I, I think going through the whole project here might illustrate that a little bit better. Because obviously it's not getting through to you the way I've been explaining that you're stupid and you don't get it. So I'm going to try a different way here. Uh, basically I've got my tree pruner and uh, I love my tree pruner. It takes me back to my youth when I used to climb trees for a living. Um, this is not the best thing. It costs 40 bucks. This is actually the second one or third one. Well, it's at least the third one because one got thrown away. But I pieced this together out of two that I have remaining. I've now taken the remaining, the one that is the the least useful now because I have all the parts on this and I've converted it into all its pieces parts for use on some other project. It's mostly fiberglass. Um, but the original problem that happened was uh, the secondary shaft, the internal shaft, that slides out of the bigger shaft, the primary shaft that you hold, it just cracked into nothing. It just in one... Now, this isn't made for a strong guy like me. And, and I pulled and it, and it just shattered. didn't shatter a little at a time. I never noticed it was shattered at all and then it just flopped over. So I've removed this part of the other one and I've also grabbed a couple of the parts for the head. Now the head is a piece of crap. It's made out of thin metal. It's kind of really not designed to last very long. Uh, even the ones the exact same model, they don't look that... There, there's a couple changes but they're no better. So uh, now I could go and spend a hundred bucks or more on an actual professional head. Uh, but I think for illustrate, illustration purposes for you, I'm going to actually go through uh, modifying this. And, and I think I might get, I'll get at least a year out of this, if not more. Okay, I've already added another spring because the spring kind of wore out. And this is a little bit stronger spring, and I actually put two on. Um, but I also want to protect from the shattering again. So what I've come up with is uh, I'm going to put a steel shaft over it, a length of just enough so that it won't break right around the head where it connects, because that's where it did break. And um, I can't add any more than that because if I did, the the uh, inside shaft wouldn't retract all the way. So here's the one inch conduit. This EMT I'm going to use. This is not, I'm going to cut this down a little bit, but I have it marked. i um, going to drill a hole through the center. Now if I use this pipe, which is slightly larger than the original, the center hole that this was held in with which was just a pin that was bent over, it wasn't even a screw or a bolt, um, that won't be in the center. So what I'm going to do, I am going to drill another hole so that it will be in the center. I might draw two, or uh, drill two, one up and one down. And then I'm going to weld this to this pipe. Because there's really no good reason why it shouldn't be welded. So it's going to connect to this by uh, a 5 16 
piece of all thread with uh, washers and nuts on and that's a piece of repurposed all thread that I used and, and uh, removed and there was enough remaining that I can actually I've already cut this down to the right size one of the nuts is welded on which works for me so uh, that's the whole project I'm gonna uh, drill then I'm gonna clean and weld these two together see how that comes out it's gonna be a little touchy it's, it's thin I'll use the MIG welder uh, I have argon gas, pure argon, which is for aluminum, uh, and decide if I'm going to change the gas out. And I probably should change the gas out, but um, I'll show you each step along the way, and uh, hopefully when I upload it, it'll all come out in the right order. Uh, I got some police going up and down. I'm gonna, not sure where they're headed. Oh, there's my neighbor. By the way, she was very happy I killed that that uh, woodchuck. There was a little glint in the eye. I'm not sure what it meant. It might have meant reward later, or I have more work for you. We'll see about that. But for now, it's it's all work. So uh, sit down and enjoy. Okay, it's part two. This is the step-by-step uh, -step, uh, upgrade repair of the pruner. I'm ready to drill this uh, pipe I'm going to add on, this conduit. I put a little mark uh, with a marker and, and then I center punched it. It's, it's a rough, just a rough pretty close to the center and it'll be the center because when I put it in this this little jig, this V jig um, I just lower the, the the drill bit until it touches and then I roll the part until it's the first thing that gets touched that means it's the highest it's within a few thousands, fifty thousands, that's all I have to do for this. I love this this uh, table. It, it's um, for two hundred bucks from Harbor Freight. It's dead nuts. I mean, it, I'm sure machinists would not be happy with this because it'd be off like a few thousand foot. For my purposes, this thing is gold. It adjusts every way it needs to. This spins this table. It'll turn. It's got a. Um, it locks down. It goes up and down. Uh, this chuck is for a $200 drill press. It's amazingly accurate. It grabs every bit right down to the tiny ones, and uh, and they go straight in and straight out. So. And that's all you need to do. Nice thing about the the fixture, the V block, is you really don't have to clamp it. I have a clamp, but once you start drilling, it holds it. It holds it right in that V block. Okay, on to the preparation for